In this session, we will prepare a BPMN model for order reset process. I'll read out this order reset process for you. Whenever an order is received, the customer record is checked in the database. In case the order is from a new customer, the record is entered into the database. Customers are now checked for credit worthiness. If the credit is positive, the order is processed and is sent to the customer. For questionable credit worthiness, the finance department is consulted. If the finance department advises processing the order, then the order is processed. Else, it is cancelled and the customer is informed via email. In case the customer credit is negative, the order is not processed and an email is sent to the customer for information. So we will start preparing this model. A BPMN model starts with the start event. So I have dragged and dropped this start event here. First task is to receive the order. Receive. Then we connect these two through a connector or sequence flow which is control 3. Second task is to check whether the record exists. Check customer record. So if record does not exist, then you need to create the customer so this is enter customer record Then we check the credit worthiness. Next is if the credit for the nurses. positive then you process the order and dispatch the material so process order this is for the case when the credit Worthiness is positive. So, if the credit is positive, order is processed and sent to the customer. So, process order, and I will add one more step here dispatch order. We connect these two and then this will be connected to the end event. If credit worthiness is negative, then order is cancelled. This is for negative credit worthiness.
So this is all as per this process. You can again have a look at the process. You can have a look at the process. The order is cancelled and an email is sent to the customer. So, if the credit worthiness is negative, the order is cancelled and email is sent to the customer. A cancellation email is sent to customer. So, this is this flow. In case of Questionable credit, so the third method is the questionable credit. Questionable you consult finance department. If the, if the finance department gives a negative review, then you cancel the order and you send a cancellation email. If the If the finance department gives a positive report, then all you need to do is to So this is how our process comes up. I will do a F5. You can look here. So I'll just add markers to these two sequence flows also. This is negative advice. And this is a positive advice. This is it. I press F5 for the full screen view. So whenever an order is received, the customer record is checked in the database. So first step is to receive the order, check customer record. In case the order is from the new customer, the record is entered. So if the record does not exist or it is from the new customer, you enter the record. Then customer records are now checked for credit worthiness. So I'll add this yes also here. I put it at a wrong place. So this yes. Customer records are checked for credit worthiness. If credit worthiness is positive, then you process the order and you dispatch the order. If credit worthiness is negative, then you cancel the order and you send cancellation email. In case of questionable credit, you consult the finance department. If the finance department gives a positive advice, you process the order and you dispatch the order. In case of a negative advice, you cancel the order. 
and you send the cancellation email i just do a little more formatting just aligning it perfectly So I think now this diagram has got a better alignment and this is how you prepare the BPMN for the order receipt process. Now our BPMN model is complete. Thank you for attending this session.